there. Oh, please come in, have a seat. My name is Dr. Ash. What can I do for you today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you've come in for your ear examination, is that right? Yes, could you just confirm your name and date of birth for me, please? Full name. Thank you. Yes, it seems that you are in here for an examination. And it seems that you were complaining of ear pain and... Which ear, sorry? Your right. Okay. Alright, that's good to know. Um, now, could you explain to me what exactly you were doing that could have put, you know, stress on the ears or anything like that? Ah, uh, you were at a NASCAR race. Yeah, I don't want to put a bit of stress on the ears. Let me just put that down real quick. I'm just going to put that down. Okay, um... Now then, I just need to confirm a bit more details besides your name and date of birth. So if you give me your full address for me, please. Great, thank you. And how about your... How, how about, do you have a second address? Like a, like a business address or something? Mm -hmm. No address, okay. Um, How about an email? At, at gmail.com? Alright, good, good. And, um, that'll about do it. When did you make the appointment? I'm sorry. I don't want really to have that in there. Fuck. A few days ago. Sorry, we couldn't get you in sooner. It just, uh, it just seems that you know, a lot of people are sick these days, you know. It is kind of, you know, the season to get, the season to get, you know ear infections and stuff, but I highly doubt that's what we're dealing with here. I think what happened was, that was just a prediction, that what happened was is that you were at the NASCAR race, and when those cars drove by, and trust me, I've been to a NASCAR race before, one, once, never again, it was too loud, my ears are a bit sensitive, you know, but I think you were there, and those loud sounds were so loud that it pushed some of your ear wax back and now you're, you have impacted ear wax. Would you say that's what's happening with you? You would, okay. Well, we can certainly, we can certainly take a look. Uh, let me just, one second. Just put some gloves on. Yes, we will, we will do a full examination. And we will, if I do find anything, we will do some cleaning. Is that okay with you? Okay. Oh, pardon. The gloves, they make, they make sometimes make funny noises. Okay. Ah. That's not me. I swear. I'm just gonna pull these back a bit more. So they could stop making the noises. Ah, whatever. Trust me, that isn't me. And any flashlight here, if you could just turn your head to the side. Like okay, thank you. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Yep, you're doing great. Okay, I'm looking at you. Yep, I'm seeing some impact of your wax. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other way? Yep. Okay. More impact of your wax. Oh, well, let me look on this side here. I thought I saw something out of whack. Out of whack. 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 Nope, you're alright. Just put that down. Kind of hard to type with these 
gloves on you know? ah I trust me it's not me well we can certainly claim some of that out for you if you'd like you'd like that okay uh, hold on, let me just find... Ooh! It's part of that. Found it. I hope that this quick like that. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I'm just gonna take these tweezers. I'm just gonna get in your ears and clean them out, you know. Okay. Shall we start? Oh, no. Oops, sorry, bumped you there. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. One more quick look in that ear again. I think I missed some. Just have a quick look. Um. Hmm. Yep, I did miss some. Hold on. Hold stuff. Hold stuff in my place. Okay. Here's done now. If you could just this way, or the next year. That was the same. I can't remember which one I did first. Just the next year, please. Thank you. there. Okay. Yep. One more quick look to just to make sure. Okay. Yep. Here, please. Okay. Yep. Alright. Okay, that's looking good. Um. Any of those unions today? Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay, well, I want to thank you so much for coming in today. And maybe, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll see you next time, huh? Maybe, uh, maybe have an air cleaning.
Dr. Ash is your man, right? Okay. Thank you. Bye now. Hi. Come in. Have a seat. How are you today? Good? That's good. Here for the ear exam, correct? Okay. Not a problem. Just take a look at your file. Can I get your full name? Mm-hmm. Okay. Date of birth? Okay. Address? Okay. Uh, email address? Okay. Um, let's see here. Phone number? Okay. And what is your reason for making uh, this appointment today? Hearing loss? Okay. Tell me about that. Uh -huh. You went to a concert and... The next morning you experienced your hearing loss or was it right after? The next morning? Okay. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I think I know what's going on here, but I do. That'll be it for the notes for now. What I want to do, I want to make uh, some sounds next to your ears. Okay. Where are my manners? I just check your heart rate first. Yes. Uh, I want to make sure your, your heart's nice and healthy. Make sure that's not playing a key role in anything. So when I put this on and I press this up against your skin, I just want you to uh, breathe, breathe in, hold it, and then breathe out. Like that. Okay? okay. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. That's good. That's good. Breathe in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Breathe out. Just like that. Okay. Uh, a couple more times. Breathe in. Mm -hmm. And breathe out. Okay. Alright, that's good. One more time over here. Breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. Just fine. Your heart rate is absolutely perfect. Just gonna see your wrist. I'm just gonna check your pulse. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to check uh, the the your, your what's remaining of your hearing. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make soft sounds next to your ears. And I just want you to let me know uh, when you can hear it and when you can't hear it anymore, okay? Right here? Yeah, you hear that? Okay. Let me know when you can't hear it anymore. Right there, okay. Uh, other ear. You can hear that? Okay. Let me know when you can't hear it anymore. Perfect. That, yes, it is diminished a little bit, but that's nothing to worry about. I'll tell you everything, what I think is going on. Um, just a second, just let me... I'm going to whisper a few numbers in your ear. I just want you to let me know uh, what numbers I'm saying. Okay? All right. One. Two. Three. Okay. One more time in this ear. Seven, eight, nine. One more time in this ear. Ten, eleven, twelve. It's perfect. You've had no problems with that, although uh, the the distance part is uh 
it's not worrying because what I think is going on is you just have something known as impacted earwax. And what that is, is when, in your case, loud sounds, or it mostly happens when people improperly clean their ears, usually using Q-tips. Um, what happens is, is that when loud sounds enter your ear, it pushes earwax back. And since you were at this concert, um, the, there was a lot of loud sounds, I presume. Well, that probably pushed it all the way back into your eardrum. And when earwax gets on the eardrum, it becomes impacted. And that could be a problem. Um, it's nothing that we can't fix, but it does diminish your hearing just slightly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw some gloves on. And I do just want to have a look in your ears, just to confirm to see that what I think is true. Okay. So. Just on these gloves on. And I've got my otoscope here. And I just want you to hold nice and still for me. And I'm just going to have a look in your ear. Okay? Okay. Hold nice and still. We'll start with this one. Okay. Yes, well... I am seeing quite a bit of impacted earwax on this. Um, yes, quite a bit. We'll check the other ear then, but yeah, this one, this one looks, this one looks pretty bad. Nothing that we can't fix though. Okay, other, nice and still. Thank you. Okay. All right, this one's not as bad. Still a problem that we need to fix, but. Not as bad, not as bad. Okay. Yeah, you're you're in good hands. Yeah. We'll clean it up right away, and uh, you'll be on your way to go. So, what I have here is just a pair of tweezers. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna uh, start taking some of that earwax out. And um, I'll be using the flashlight as well. But I do just want to take some of that earwax out. And hopefully that will increase the power of your hearing. Okay. So we'll start with, uh, we'll start with the, bat, the, the, the worst one. So we'll come over here. Look in here. Okay. This one's the worst one, so I wanted to start with this one, see if it makes any difference. Mm -hmm. Just trying to, sorry, just trying to scrape a bit of it off, and then pick it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is it's looking much better already. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Better? Still not perfect? I wasn't done with this year yet. So, just wanted to make sure that you're okay. That one's, it's good. Okay. Sorry for that very loud noise. Other offices in this building. So, uh, some of us get a little rambunctious. <laughs> okay. Let right over to this here now. Right, once again, just hold nice and still for me. You doing okay? Right. Sorry about that. My nose is a bit itchy. quite done but uh, we're getting there yeah this one this one's easy that one 
your other ear was a bit tricky, but it's all clean now. Mm-hmm. How does that feel? Better? Okay. Well, uh, we'll do the hearing test again. Same, same test. Just, uh, take these gloves off. No, no, you did fine. Usually when I get out the tweezers, people start getting squirmish, but... No, oh, you were... You didn't look like you minded at all. People seem to not realize that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, well, right, we'll just uh, do that test again, so just want you to keep your head in one place. Can you hear this? Again? Let me know when you can't hear it anymore. That's much better, yeah. That, um, that's normal. Okay. This side? You can hear that? Let me know when you can't hear it anymore. Right there. Again, absolutely normal. Okay. Now, I'm gonna whisper the, the same numbers in your ear, starting with this one, the worst one. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll get started. So keep your head nice, nice and still. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, I don't see any, uh, I don't see any issues there. Your little whist, when I was whispering numbers, that was normal before, but with the distance, that seems to be normal now. Um, everything's absolutely perfect, so, uh, thank you so much for coming in today. Absolutely not, not a problem. Yes, well, you have a great day, and, uh, if you have any other problems, give me a call. Come in, sit down and give me your name. Date of birth, address, phone number. Perfect. Let me know, can you hear this? What about this? Okay. Can I look in there? On this installment. Okay. Looks pretty dirty. What about this one? Clean those out for you. Okay, it's starting to look better already. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Do you hear this? What about this? Let me know when it stops. Perfect. Good to go. Thank you for coming in and have a great day. Bye now. Well, goodness me, you'll have to excuse me. I, well, traffic. It, it was a nightmare. Um, how do you do? Great. Um, I'm, th I'm great. Thank you for asking. Um, let me get your pen's falling apart. Let me get your uh, name. Air conditioning is broken. Can I get your name? Full name. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You're my six o'clock. Okay, uh, ear exam and just an ear exam. And cleaning. Okay. Sorry. Um, a little bit flustered. Uh, traffic. Don't get me started. Um, so. going to go through a couple of uh, rudimentary rudimentary questions um, you know, over your history and such um, as your ENT I am required to do that um, so I got your name a date of birth um, 
you get your address. And your email address at, at Gmail. And uh, how about your phone number? Home cell. Not many people have home phones anymore, but just a phone number. The one we can reach you at if necessary. Okay, great. Hmm. Also, excuse me, it's kind of hot in here. Um, alrighty. Let's go down the list here. Um, sorry, I'm going over the notes here from last time. Um, just so my notes are aware, um, what is the reason you scheduled this appointment? Okay, so a little bit of hearing loss. When exactly did this happen? A week ago? A few days ago? A week? Okay. Um, do you have any idea of how it happened? Uh, what, what were the events leading up to the hearing loss? You were cleaning your ears? Okay. Um, how do you, how do you go about cleaning your ears? If you don't mind me asking, I am your doctor. Q-tips, okay. Um, well, uh, we don't generally recommend um, Q-tips for inside the ear canal. Um, and I'll explain why in a second. Uh, exterior, sure, I can go right ahead. Um, but as far as as far as going even maybe even a little bit into the ear, not too much. Um, if you get too deep, and I'll explain this now, I guess, because I feel like this is the problem we're having. Um, if when you when you Q-tip. So, let's say this is your ear, right? So you you clean around the, the ear, yes? You clean around, you get the majority of it. But, uh, so the excess, little, little bits and of, um, little bits of earwax. Sorry, traffic still got me a little flustered. Um, little bits of earwax would go deep into the ear and put against the eardrum and into the little nooks and crannies of uh, your ear, causing all sorts of problems. It's what we call impacted earwax. Um, very common, very, very easy to fix. So don't think you're, don't think it's fatal or anything. Um, it's very, very easy to fix. And I will clean your ears. I'll take a look in your ears first, obviously, because if it's if there is no impact in your wax, we've got other issues. But from what it sounds like, it sounds like just a case of impacted earwax, right? We're gonna go over a couple of history items. His history items. Uh, we're gonna go over some history uh, real quick. Um, first of all, your personal history. Um, do you have any heart conditions? Uh, any serious medical problems? Heart disease? Uh, Guess more specifically things with the heart, uh, heart disease, high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, things like that. Okay, no, good, good, good. And what about just any other serious medical, uh, serious medical problems? Any surgeries in the past, say, five years? No? Okay. Alrighty. I'll have to excuse me, don't worry, I'll put gloves on. <laughs> I know I'm sweating like a pig here, but how much I can do about that. Um, these are the uniforms. <laughs> Two dress shirts, right? Anyways. Um, uh, any mental disorders? Uh, any uh, depression? 
uh, depression, anxiety, things like that. No? Okay. It's fine if you do. It don't You don't have to not tell me. I know I'm just an ENT. I'm not really a therapist, but... Okay, you don't. Just some some of my patients don't really like to tell me, um, which is uh, not good because well, I am their doctor. But I know I'm not a psychiatrist or anything like that. Um, so what about uh, any allergies from the, the, this list here? Yes, this. No? Okay. So that one, all right. Um, yeah, so let's go over your family history. This is basically just the same questions, except um, about your family. Uh, any heart conditions? I forgot to ask you one, actually. Uh, any cancer? No, okay. Um, family, uh, any, any cancer in your family? No, okay. What about... Heart, heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, no. High blood pressure, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's okay. As long as you don't have that, I guess. Okay, um. Let's see here. Um, uh, any family history of depression, anxiety, any mental, no. Okay, good. Um, and any... Any, um, any, any major, well, I guess, surgeries when you're, alright, that's all for the questions. You can tell I'm still a lot of it, especially with the air conditioning being broken. Alrighty, well, that's easy enough. Um, it's gonna do it for questions for now. Um, so, I'm going to take this tool. And I am going to, uh, it's just uh, an autoscope. Uh, this is going to allow me to look inside your ear. And this is where my mirrors, gloves. Now, you will, and you will, have to excuse me. <laughs> I, uh, my gloves are two sizes too small. I'll put some hand sanitizer on first, yeah? Would you like some? Sure. So, um, my gloves are two sizes too small, so they will break, and I will have to get another one. Just keep in mind, it might be a while. Hopefully they just go on first try, but they never do. They never do. My receptionist got me a medium. I'm an extra large. Yeah, I've got big hands, but. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alrighty. That's coming. How are you today, by the way? I suppose I should have asked that at the start. Maybe I did. I can't remember. Good. 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 I like to hear that my patients are doing well. Um, it's, it's reassuring to know that people are doing fine these trying times. I would be doing fine if I could get this glove on. I know, I really... I really gotta get new gloves. So... I should just not use these, but... These are what I have on hand.
that on the floor so we won't use that one. One last try. And then I might just have to sterilize my hands with hand sanitizer. Is that okay with you? Okay, good. Yes. Boy, are these gloves not cooperating. Nope. Alright. Just sterilize my hands. Bye. Can never be too, too safe, you know? So, as I said before, I'm going to take this tool, and I'm going to examine inside your ears. Um, so, go ahead and uh, just turn your head ever so slightly. I'm just going to stand up, and I'm going to get a look inside those ears. So, just as I thought, um... It's nothing major, it's just, yeah, it's, sorry about my chair, uh, it's, yeah, it's impacted your legs, definitely. I'm not going to be concerned about it, I can clean that out for you. Turn your head to the other side. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Really bad on this side, too. Have you ever tried cleaning your ears with? Uh, drops or anything like that? No? I would suggest trying to do that from now on. Um, obviously, as I said, the exterior is okay with the q tips, but um, if you go into the ear canal, you'll be coming to see me every week. So, um, I have this pair of tweezers, and I'm going to get. I have a little flashlight. Oh, I'm not bright enough. Sorry. Um, let's get my pen light. That's a little bit brighter, yeah. So, um, because obviously I can't put the otoscope in your ear and turn the tweezers. So if you could just turn your head all the way, all the way to one side. Yep. Thank you. You're doing great. Yeah, you're, you're doing fine, you're doing fine. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, well, you're doing great. Doesn't hurt too much? A little bit? Yeah, it speaks pictures quite a bit in here. It's hot. I hope you don't mind. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Alright, um... Alright. How's that? Much better on that? Okay, good. Flip your head to the other side for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna just sit down for this now. Alright, yep. How's that? Better. Good. Well, what I might do is a little bit of a hearing test. I'm going to do a couple just to make sure uh, 
the thing is damaged completely. Um, so what I have here is just a, a lens cap. And I'm just going to tap on it. Something in my eye. And what I have here is a lens cap. And I'm just going to tap on it. And I want you to let me know if you can hear it, okay? Yep. Good, okay. Um, I'm going to keep tapping on it. And I want you to let me know when it stops. And now this side as well. Right there. <laughs> that's that's very good. That's very, very good. Um, do you want me to clean the exterior of your ears as well? Uh, it's just part of the service. If, if you'd like it done, sure. Yeah. Um, I use a little solution for that. Um, and just a Q-tip because like I said, Q-tips are okay for the exterior. I won't be going anywhere near the ear canal. I've already cleaned that out. But let's just go ahead and... One second, sorry. Let me just go ahead and saturate this. That's good. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and turn your head. That's good. It's good and clean. We'll get a different Q-tip for the other side. Okay. Close up my solution here. Go ahead and turn your head. Perfect. I don't work. Sorry, we'll head back to the hearing test now. Um, I've already checked distance. I've already checked um, if you can actually hear. So uh, we're going to move on to comprehension. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to whisper three numbers in each ear uh, twice. So I just want you to let me know what numbers I'm saying, okay? One more time in this one. Seventy-nine. Seventy-eight. Four hundred fifty-five. Seventy-one. Perfect. It's very good. Um. Well, I guess that just about does it for. Our uh, ear exam and cleaning. Um, thank you for coming in today. Um, I'm sorry about the air conditioner. Oh boy. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for coming in and seeing me and getting this problem taken care of. Remember to keep those Q-tips out of the ear. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. Um, I see it in twice a week, or twice a day even, Jesus. <laughs> but anyways, um, thank you for coming in and, uh, you have a great day. Come in, have a seat. How you doing today? Good. Can I get your name? Let's see there. There you are. So, uh, let's see what we have it down here for. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. It looks like you're in for an ear exam. Is that right? Uh, tell me a little bit about what's been going on. Okay. Here. Mm. Ear pain. Okay. A little bit of hearing loss. Which ear? Okay. Okay. So your left. Your left. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, on a scale from one to ten, how bad is ear pain? Uh, one being 
uh, no pain whatsoever, 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt. Okay, so about three or four. Okay, well, that's not, that's not bad. Um, obviously, enough, enough cause for concern for you to be here, but... All right. Let's see here. Okay. Um, and from a scale from 1 to 10, how bad is the hearing loss? Uh, 1 being you can never hear everything just fine. 10 being you can barely hear uh, what's being said to you. Okay, about the same. All right. Okay. Uh, it just kind of gives us a, a base start. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I think is going on. And we're going to basically do a, a, a hearing test to start out with, just kind of get a, a baseline. And then I'm going to uh, do a full examination. And then um, we'll see if anything improved. So while I get situated here, give me one second. Excuse me. So, um, what I think is going on is something uh, that we call in the profession impacted earwax. Have you heard of that before? Okay. So impacted earwax is basically um, uh, when earwax, earwax is a very natural thing. It's a it's meant to protect your ear. Um, however, sometimes it becomes impacted, which basically means it gets against your eardrum, um, which in turn makes it vibrate less, makes it harder to get audio, audio cues, things like that. Um, so we're gonna be, I'm gonna look inside your ears. First, I'm gonna do a hearing test, and I'm gonna look inside your ears, and uh, we're gonna see what's uh, what's in there. All right. So, um, start out with, I just have these pieces here, they make a soft sound, um, and can you hear that okay? Yeah? Right over here. Better on, you better on your right, yeah, yeah, I thought so. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to let me know, um, when you can hear it stop, okay? Or when you can't hear it anymore, I suppose you would say. There? Okay. How about on this side? Okay. There. Okay. That's a little bit better on your right. Um, still not 100%. I have a feeling your right's probably going to have a little bit of the impact of your wax as well. Um, well how do I know? <laughs> um, just your symptoms you're describing to me really sound like it. Um, and it's very common, and I see it in here at least twice a day. So, I'm kind of used to it at this point. Alright. So, uh, just, uh, can you hear this? Okay, what about this? Okay, and you let me know when you can't hear it anymore, okay? There? Okay. There, okay. Alright, that's good. Um, so I'm just having a look at your ear, just around the outside. Don't worry, I, as you just witnessed, I, my hands are sanitized. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to get this uh, flashlight here. Uh, just to look at the, the outside, the external part of your ear, and a little bit into the inside, though I've got the otoscope for when I need to get deep in there. So just uh, hold still for me, please. Okay. Other side. Turn your head slightly. Yes, thank you. Okay, that's good. All right. Okay. Good. Very good. Jot some notes down if you don't mind. Now, I want to have a look into your ear canal, 
and for that I've just got this uh, little otoscope here. Um, it has a tab on it so I can really get it now. So if you don't mind, just uh, turn your head ever so slightly. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Yeah, just as I thought, impact in your wax. If you don't mind me asking, uh, how do you go about cleaning your ears? Q-tips? Okay. Yeah, I don't sell. Um, so you gotta be really, really careful with Q-tips. Um, basically, Q-tips, uh, a, a common misconception is that they're good for cleaning ears, but they're not really. Um, well, you can get a, a good bit out. You're pushing a lot into your ear with the Q-tips. For example, got one right here. So, uh, so what, this is your ear, right? So while you're cleaning bits of it, you're also pushing a lot in, um, in turn, creating impact in your wax. That's, that's uh, no, no, no reason to say sorry. It's uh, it happens all the time. Uh, very common, as I said. Turn it that way. Okay. If I have your permission now, I'd like to clean your ears and maybe get some um, some of the hearing back for you. Mo hopefully all of it. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Great. Okay. Just jotting down my findings. All right. So, um, for the cleaning, I am just going use these again <laughs> this will not be painful in any way it might be a little uncomfortable and I apologize for that um, however it's really gonna help in the long run sorry if you uh, hear any noises outside uh, we try to keep things as relaxing as possible here all right let's just go ahead and turn your head that way Scraping away at it. I can definitely see that you've been using those Q tips. I should mention while we're doing this, uh, Q tips are not terrible, but you just have to use them for the right reasons. Um, they're great for external. So, this, this, sorry, my hair's in the way. So, this part here, uh, they're great for that. Uh, you know, keeping the, the the outside appearance nice and clean. It's they're good for that, but anything past that, I'd stay away from that. Yeah, that's that's no problem. Okay, now you're doing good. Okay. Not too uncomfortable or anything. No. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. That's good. Wipe that off. I've got a paper towel here. Um. So that's you notice know, a difference already. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's quite a big difference those that that can make. Um, it's good to you're noticing the difference, anyways. Okay. Work on the right ear now. Okay, you can turn your head to the other side. Thank you.
How's that? Good? Awesome. Alrighty. Just gonna jot down the way you cleaned your ears today. Okay. It's good. Alrighty. So we're gonna finish up with a, a, a hearing test to see if anything improved. So we're gonna get a different pair of tweezers now that we got those ones dirty. Alright, so um, let me know when this can you sorry yep good let me know when it stops yeah definitely a big difference there how about this side yeah, I thought so you would hear this good. what about this yeah. let me know when this stops All right, awesome. So, uh, that's pretty much it for you. Um, thank you for coming in and seeing me. Yeah, so, um, no, pretty, pretty painless, yeah. So, uh, I wanna thank you for coming in and seeing me. If you have any other issues uh, whatsoever, um, if you can kind of feel the, the ear pain and the hearing loss again, uh, feel free to call us. Uh, you can talk to our receptionist. She knows what she's talking about. Or if you uh, want to speak to me, just have, you put, have them put you to the Dr. Ash. Yeah. Well, you have a great day. And uh, bye. Come in. Have a seat. How you doing today? Good. good. Excuse me. Good. Um, can I get your name? Your name here. Sorry, just looking over there at the monitor. There you are. Um, looks like you're just in for the routine ear exam, is that right? Okay. Um, have you experienced any hearing loss at all? No? Just a, just a quick check? Okay. Well, we'll have a look in there and see. Um, if you've got any buildup or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to ask a couple questions. Um, by the way, my name is Dr. Ash. I'll be your ENT today, but I guess just the E. <laughs> um, so, looks like, um, can I just get your date of birth? Okay. How about your address? Can you spell it for me? An email address? Okay. At Gmail, okay. All right. And phone number? Okay. Thank you. And just for formality's sake, what is the reason you're coming in today? Okay. Routine. And just real quick, is there any history of deafness in your family? Anything like that? Any ear illnesses? Okay. If you had an ear infection or anything like that in the past, let's say, month? No? Okay. Get rid of both of those. Okay. So we're ready to get started. So I'm going to start with getting a, a baseline um, before I get in there and uh, clean your ears. You said you haven't experienced any problems, but... We want to see if we maybe we can improve your hearing a little bit. Um, so, gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so, for this first hearing test, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes. Good. And uh, just let me know what side you hear this on, okay? Good. Good. In the middle. Yeah, that's perfect. No, that's what it's supposed to be. Um, And you can leave your eyes open now, but I just want you to let me know uh, when this stops, okay? 
there. And then this is this side. And then I want to stop. So. There, okay. Now that's, it's a little below normal, but for them perhaps there might be some blockage in there. Um, it's nothing crazy uh, if it is not blockage. I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing that you're really gonna notice throughout your, your day. I'm just nitpicking. So, um, uh, yeah. Um, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna whisper numbers in your ear, and I just want you to let me know um, what I'm saying, okay? Okay. So we'll start with this here. You can leave your eyes open. Forty-six. Yes, sir. 17, 25, 4. We'll do one more time in this here. 14, 47, 99. One more time in this here. 3, 100. Did you wait on that last one? Okay. Um, no, you got all those right. Um, I do want to have a look in, inside your ear now, if that's okay. So for that, I've just got the standard otoscope. And uh, for this, sorry, uh, for this, I'm just going to ask you to just kind of turn your head to that side for me. Thank you. Okay, just get a look in there. Okay. No, that's the there's a little bit of blockage. When was the last time your ears cleaned? Okay, so it's been a while, but I mean, it's nothing crazy. Um, you could probably get away with a couple more weeks, perhaps, maybe even a, maybe, eh, maybe a couple more days on this year. Unless you want us first. Would you like us to clean it today? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Just gotta have a look. I don't see any redness or any sign of infection. Yeah, no, there was nothing crazy in there. Um, we'll check the other ear then, so we just want to turn around to that side. Okay. Yeah, same deal over here. Nothing crazy, just a little bit of blockage. Um, no, nothing, nothing spectacular. And again, I don't see any redness or any signs of infection. So you're... You said you would, you would like us to clean it, correct? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, better just have it done now, right? Yeah. Just jot down that look inside your ears. Alrighty. So we'll grab the same tweezers I was using earlier. And oh, before that, uh, I'm going to clean the exterior of here. It's not anything crazy, it's just kind of routine stuff. Um, so for that, I'm going to use this Q-tip. And a lot of ENTs will tell you never use these. Um, I wouldn't go that far. Um, basically, these are terrible for the insides of your ears, right? Absolutely awful for the inside. But for the exterior works just fine you know just just for the just gonna get my hair out of the way just kind of this part of the ear right it'd be all right anything else don't do it that's, that's your wise words from your ENT today so I'm just gonna spray with this little saline spray I'm just gonna kind of yeah, I noticed just a little bit of a little bit of a you can tell you now with me just a touch of Just a smidge of earwax on the outside. It's something crazy again. Okay. All right. No, it's already all done. We got a different Q-tip. Do the other side. Turn it that way for me. Thank you. Okay. Okay. That one was even better. So we're done with that. Um, 
we're gonna want to clean the insides of your ears now it won't take that long like I said there's nothing crazy in there um, and for that I'm just going to pull out these little tweezers that we were using for the ear dust and I'm just gonna get in there and I'm, I'm really gonna kind of scrape away at it um, it's not gonna hurt or anything like that it might be a little bit uncomfortable and I apologize for that um, but it's not gonna be anything crazy so if you don't mind uh, turn it to that side for me you know the drill if you hear any outside noise whatsoever um, we're in a crowded we're, in, we're next to a busy highway so I apologize for that It's actually all done for that here. So go ahead and tell your hair to that side for me. Kind of wipe off the tweezy here. Okay. So just get in there and uh, just hold stuff for me, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, that's good. And I also want to apologize for how hot it is in here. It's uh, where uh. Air conditioning unit's broken. We're getting a guy to fix it. We're hopefully, hopefully getting a guy to fix it today. You know how they are. Okay. That's good. Alrighty. So. You are... Um... All clean. Um, let me just make sure I didn't miss any, if you don't mind. Yeah, the lighting in this room is pretty good, actually, so I didn't really need a flashlight to get in there with the tweezers. Um, but I just want to make sure I didn't miss any. couple hearing tests again um, not the whispering um, you were pretty good on that but I do want to do the tweezers again so um, let me know uh, when this stops okay yeah that's much better actually this side much better alrighty did you have any other questions for me alrighty you're good to go then. Um, you can schedule your next appointment up at the front. Um, if you have any other questions or concerns, please do feel free, feel free to call. Um, you can speak to the receptionist. She knows what she's talking about. Or if you'd rather speak to me, you can have them put you through to Dr. Ash. Yeah, it was nice seeing you. Bye. Come in. Have a seat. How are you doing today? Good. Could you grab your name? here there you are right on time thank you for that um, looks like we got you in for a, an ear exam is that right uh, just mark down that you came in um, so I'm gonna grab a couple details um, can I, I've already got your name so can I get your date of birth thank you uh, address Could you spell it one for me thank you you must get that question a lot yeah how about your email address thank you phone number Case history. Uh, uh, did you have you ever had a 
or have you had ear infection and ear infection uh, since um, since the last time you've been here have you noticed any pain or anything okay have you been the uh, been to any other um, uh, doctors that could be any doctor your GP dentist things like that okay okay um, how about family history of uh, early hearing loss things like that Okay, no, that's good. Um, that's actually it for the questions. If, so I'll set this over here. Um, so you're just in for a routine check, is that right? Okay, have you noticed any uh, hearing loss or anything like that? I know I'm speaking kind of softly, so uh, it's obviously, if you have been, it's not too bad. Okay, so a little bit in your in your right. Okay, the yeah, my right, your left. Um, so a little bit in that one, okay. Um, have you noticed um, any ear pain involved with that? A little bit, okay. Um, on a scale from one to ten, uh, one being you can hear everything, uh, ten being you can't hear most things said to you. Um, what would you put the hearing loss? Okay, so about three or four. Okay, that's not bad. Um, and on a scale from one to ten. Um, one being no pain at all, ten being uh, the worst pain you've ever felt. Uh, where would you put the ear pain? Okay, so about a two. But okay, again, not terrible. Um, obviously, uh, not good either uh, if it's present at all. So um, I'm actually just gonna kind of come to the, come to your ear, uh, your left, and I'm actually just gonna kind of uh, palpate the ear if that's all right. I didn't start yet, don't worry. Is it alright if I touch you? Great, thank you. Well, I'm not, I can't say for certain what's going on yet. Um, I've got a pretty good uh, guess. Um, you see, I see it in here at least once a day. Um, I'll go into that in just one second. Just kind of, do you notice any external ear pain? Anything like this? No? Okay, so it's internal. All right. Um, how about this side? Any external ear pain? No? Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. And, uh, how about your earlobe? I'm just gonna, sc I'm gonna squeeze your earlobe slightly, see if a uh, color returns. That's good. How about this side? Okay. Any discomfort or anything? Any pain? No? Okay. Um. So. Um, I've got this. Otoscope here, and I'm just going to get a look into your ear now, if that's all right with you. Okay, so if you could just turn your head slightly that side for me. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely as I suspected. Um, okay, turn your head that side. Thank you. jot down what I found. So what we're looking at here, um, it's nothing major. Um, it's just a, a very simple case of impacted earwax. And uh, what that basically means is um, earwax, when ear, earwax is a natural thing, um, it's supposed to go out of the ear. Um, that's why you kind of see it on, uh, externally sometimes. And uh, you, you clean it up and then you, you look great. But um, Sometimes, um, real quick, how do you go about cleaning your ears? Okay, so, you use Q-tips, and um, that's completely normal. A lot of people make that mistake. Um, I wouldn't say never put them in your ear, uh, just because they're good for external. Um, so, if I get my hair out of the way, this part of the ear, they're great for, right? Uh, Q-tips are great for that. Uh, they're great for cleaning up the, the stuff that naturally goes out um, so you look socially acceptable. Um, so, yeah, because you know, a lot of people, earwax is kind of gross. Um, I'll give you that. It's pretty disgusting, um, especially when it starts falling on your shoulders, things like that. It's, it's a mess. So, 
uh, externally, that's what yeast keeps is for. Anything else, I'd see your flavor on it. Um, so what a lot of people do is they actually put Q-tips in their ears and that, uh, it, it gets earwax, yes, but it actually pushes a lot of it into the eardrum, also known as the tympanic membrane. Um, and that is how it becomes impacted and it's the, the tympanic membrane starts getting vibrations a lot less. And uh, vibrations is obviously how you hear. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm definitely steer clear from um, sticking them in your ears. Uh, anything else, like external, they're great for that. So um, I can certainly clean up the earwax um, if you allow me to. Yeah, we treat that in house without you no know, sort of surgery or anything that you need to undergo for that. I mean, it's it's pretty easy. I just got these tweezers and these. I'm just gonna kind of scrape away at the earwax. Trust me, it will not hurt. It might be a little uncomfortable, and I apologize for that. Uh, but it will not uh, be excruciatingly painful. Okay. Great. So, um, kind of took it that side for me. I actually got a different thought. Got that. I actually got a different flashlight here. Um, and this is just going to allow me to see, because I can't stick the otoscope in here and use these, so this will just allow me to kind of see around a little bit, a little bit better. So go ahead and turn it to that side for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of start. How's that feel? Fine. I'm gonna flick it off a little bit. Yeah, your left is uh it's 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 not horrible, but definitely I can see why I hear losses of three or four now. Definitely definitely more than there should be. Which there should be none. After we're done uh, with this, we'll do a bit of a hearing test, um, just to see where you're at. No, I don't think we need to start with the baseline. Uh, the baseline was basically the fact that you could hear me. Um, that, that's enough of a baseline, especially for this minor problem that we're dealing with. How does that feel? Good, very good. Is that a lot better? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, you don't, you don't really notice uh, how much, uh, you, how good your hearing is until it goes away. So, um, just gonna get this here now. Tell you that side. Thank you. Okay. Oh, nice and so. It is a little uncomfortable, I understand. I apologize, we'll make this as quick as possible. But I have to go kinda slow so I don't do any damage to your tympanic membrane. Okay. And like I said, this side was not as bad. You didn't even notice any problems with it, so. Okay, that's it for that side. How's that sound? Much better, yes. I thought so. So, I'd like to do a, a bit of a hearing test if that's okay. I'll make sure I didn't do any damage, which I'm sure I didn't, but just make sure. Um, yeah, some people, uh, they're a little bit more sensitive, so when I do that bit of scraping, it, it has the chance to, you know, do some damage, which in which case, uh, we would fix it. But, uh, we'll just do a test and we'll see how it works, right? So, I've just got this, uh, this little paper clip here. And what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes and I want you to let me know what side you hear it on, okay? okay. No, that one was supposed to be in the middle. Good. Very good. Um, I just want you to, you can open your eyes again. And I just want you to let me know when it stops, okay? Yeah, you can leave your eyes open.
This side. Very good. It's very good. I'm going to whisper uh, some numbers in your ear now. And I just want you to let me know uh, what numbers I say. Okay? All right. 45. 46. 2. This side. 71. 5. 4. This side one more time. 17. 25. 6. This side one more time. Great, be right there. We'll do one last check inside your ears and then you'll be good to go. Pretty quick, right? Yeah. So, um, to your that side for me, thank you. Okay, just having a look into your ear. Yeah, we got it all. That's that's great. Um, have have you tried uh, ear drops or anything like that for your ears? No. Well, I highly recommend them instead of the Q-tips. If you'd like to keep the inside of your ears clean, tear to that side, thank you. If you'd like to keep your ears clean, I highly recommend them. Um, you can pick them up at uh, the pharmacy. Uh, no prescription required. Um, yeah, that's good. We got it all. So I highly recommend those. Um, they don't require a prescription or anything. They're over the counter. And... Um, I definitely get those uh, to clean your ears out instead of using the Q-tips. Like I said, externally, Q-tips are fine. Just in anything past that, I wouldn't go there. All right. Um, did you have any other questions for me? Great. Um, if you do notice any more hearing loss or anything like that, um, or you have any other questions or concerns, please do feel free to, feel free to call. Um, you can speak to the receptionist. She knows what she's talking about. Or you can um, put you to the Dr. Ash. That's me, obviously. Well. Uh, it was a pleasure to work with you. Yes. Uh, you have a great day. Bye. Come in. Take a seat. How you doing? Good, yeah. Uh, can I just get your name? Let me check the appointment list here. Uh, there you are. Right on time. Thank you for that. Um... So, um, let's see, let me mark down that you came in today. Um, what seems to be the issue? Okay, a little bit of hearing pain. Ear, uh, ear pain, sorry. Ear pain and uh, hearing loss. Okay, what side? That side, okay. Um, so... Shot that down. Um, on a scale from one to ten, I'm speaking quite softly right now, and you're hearing me pretty well, so it can't be that bad. But on a scale from one to ten, how bad is the hearing loss? Uh, one being you can't hear most things said to you, t or one one being no impairment whatsoever. Ten being you can't hear most things said to you. Okay, that's that's pretty minor. Um, definitely a cause for concern considering you came in, but okay. Um, and on a scale from 1 to 10, uh, how bad is the ear pain? 1 being barely any pain at all to no pain, or 10 being uh, the worst pain you've ever felt. Okay, so pretty minor again. All right, that's fine. Um, has anything like this happened before? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I think I remember your face. Um, I think you've been here before with the same issue, right? Yeah. That's all right. Um... Well, if it's the same issue as last time, we'll just be cleaning out your ears. Um, obviously, I'll have a look and do some tests and make sure um, nothing's, nothing wrong is happening. Um, nothing extra, I mean. Uh, but before that, um, I've got a couple questions. Um, let me just grab your date of birth. Okay. Thank you. And what about your um, address? Yeah, that matches with that. No, you don't have to spell for me this time. Yeah, that matches up what we've got in our record there. Um, what's your phone number? Okay. And your email change at all? No? Okay. Um, would you like the results uh, by email or uh, text or phone call or all of the above? 
Okay. Those two. Okay. All right. Um, and just to ask, is there any uh, history, a family history of uh, early hearing loss? No? Okay. Have you yourself had an ear infection uh, within the past 30 days? No? Okay. All right. Pretty simple. So, we've done this before. Um, I am going to test your hearing. So, um, I would like you to close your eyes. And I just want you to let me know uh, what side you hear this on, okay? Good. 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 Okay. Middle. That's right. Very good. Um, I'm actually going to take that again. Um, I'm going to... You can leave your eyes open. Uh, I'm just going to move this away from you, and I just want you to let me know when you can't hear it anymore. Okay? All right. There? Okay. There. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, that's a b below average, um, but obviously, uh, if it's the same issue as last time, uh, we'll certainly get it figured out. So um, I'm actually going to, before I have a look inside your ears, I'm going to whisper some numbers in your ear. Um, and I just want you to repeat them back for me, okay? Alright. 14, 45, 6. This way. 17, 18, 1. One more time in this ear. One more time in this year. Nineteen. Nine. Two. That's good. You repeated those all back to me perfectly. Um, we will, however, have a look inside your ears. Uh, so I've just got the uh, otoscope here. And I want you to just kind of turn your head slightly for me. Now this is obviously the ear uh, that has no issue. Um, so I don't anticipate there to be much of a problem, although there is, I am seeing a tad bit of buildup. Okay. Yeah, it definitely needs to be cleaned. Okay. All right. Turn your head to that side. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely worse. Um. Yeah, okay. So, um... To ask, uh, you're not using still using the Q-tips, are you? No, you did away with those. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me ask. Uh, do you use earbuds at all for music or podcasts or anything like that? You do. Okay. So I'm um, definitely exercise caution with using those a lot, because um, while those have less of an effect, if you're using them constantly, they'll have more or less the same effect that the Q-tips will. Obviously, it's not as direct because they're not as uh, skinny. Um, but definitely uh, exercise caution with using those a lot. Yeah, I use mine constantly, and uh, let me just say, um, I'm I'm constantly you know cleaning out my ears. So yeah, definitely uh, exercise caution with those. But I would like to uh, begin with the cleaning. So for that, you've been here before. Um, I've got this uh, this broader light because uh, I can't stick the otoscope in there, and these tweezers. So I'll start with the one that has no issue. Um, so go ahead and turn your head to that side for me. Thank you. Okay. Just gonna get in there. And don't mind me. Might be a little bit uncomfortable, and I apologize for that. Okay. My flashlight's starting to die, I know. Kind of tell your head a little bit, a little bit further. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And is there any excruciating pain as I do this? No. Okay. Just a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm sure. It's uh, never comfortable to have somebody scraping at your ears, but unfortunately, uh, it's got to be done right. Just do my job. 
Okay. How's that sound? Better? Okay. Well, you'll definitely notice the difference with this side. Go ahead and set your head like that. Yep, thank you. Okay. Just hold. Switch it around. Get a better angle at it. There we go. Push that's really starting to die. This one requires a little bit of a deeper cleaning, yeah. Okay. How's that sound? Better? Yeah, I thought so. Well, if you don't mind, we'll do this test again. So go ahead and close your eyes. Let me know what side you hear this on. Good. You can open your eyes. Now, um, let me take that again. I always put it down. All right, so just let me know when it stops, okay? So much better, yeah, that's awesome. There, great, okay. Um, now what I want you to do is I want you to uh, repeat these numbers back to me. Very nice. And actually, before I jot down everything's good, I am going to have one last quick look in there just to make sure I got everything. Turn your head to that side. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Okay, that's that for me. Okay. Yep, got it all. Great. All right. Did you have any other questions for me? I'd say you're uh, you're cured. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you for coming in and seeing me today. Uh, if you would just uh, sign here, just to say that I treated you. Thank you. Yep, that's perfect. Well, uh, it's been a pleasure. You have a good one.